The Radio Cloner is a great way to create generative content. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through the functions of this effect and see how we can unleash its full power. The cloner effects are not strictly meant to be used in your content, but can also be a way for you to create your own visuals inside of Resolume. Let's have a look. Let's start by creating a shape. Under the Sources tab, select the Shaper source and drag it onto a clip. For demonstration purposes, I'll change the circle into a triangle. Now we're ready to add our radial cloner. Go to the Effects tab, search for the radial cloner and drag it onto your clip. The radial cloner cloned my shape eight times in a radial pattern. Let's go through all the parameters to see what the cloner has in store for us. As with all effects in Resolume, you have control over its opacity and blend mode. Next is a clone parameter, which will let you decide how many clones you want. Up to 50 clones can be made with one cloner, but you can chain multiple cloners together, cloning the cloners. For now, let's stick with eight clones. The radial cloner has three start parameters, radius, scale, and rotation, as well as three end parameters. If no changes are made to the end parameters, the start parameters will affect all of the clones in exactly the same way. If changes are made to the end parameters, the radius, scale, and rotation will change from start to end for each clone. Imagine this as a snake, with its head being the start and its tail being the end. Next we have the fan parameter. This will collapse the radius onto its starting point and is a really nice parameter to animate. At first the fan offset might look like a simple rotation, but it defines where and how the fan opens up. When set to 50% the fan will open up equally from the top. The master rotation will let you rotate the entire cloner without affecting the individual clones. The delay will allow you to create an interval between clones when changes are made to the source. You can change how long the interval between clones is, as well as select an order in which the clones will be updated. To illustrate this, let's change the color of the triangle and see what happens. Now that we understand the effect, let's build some footage with it. I start by creating a shape. For this example, I'll use a rectangle. I'm thinking about going minimal on this visual, so I'll take the radius down to zero and change the colors to a white outline. Next, I will add the radial cloner. I'm keeping it minimal, so I'll lower the clone count down to four it fits nicely with the symmetry of the shape. Two of my squares are slightly out of my screen, so I'll reduce the start radius a bit. 0.40 seems right. I think it would be nice if the shapes would connect in the middle, so let's animate that. We'll set the start radius to a timeline by hitting the cock and selecting timeline. I will pause the timeline for now. I will change the maximum of the start radius to 0.40. Next I will try to find a good value for the minimum. It should be on a spot where the squares connect. 0.25 seems to be the sweet spot. Next, I'll set the playback mode to bounce for a more fluid motion and I'll bring the length of the video up to about two and a half seconds. Instead of bouncing up and down all the time, I would like them to stay put for a while after they connect. To do this, I'll use a custom envelope. Press the cock and click the envelope. Now double click anywhere on the line to create a new curve. I'll set the face of my new envelope to 50, so the animation is split in half. Next, I set the radius to 0 to even it out with the starting position. Note that 0 is actually 0 0.25, because we set a minimum in our timeline. I would like to add some rotation to create more movement in my visual. Let's set the master rotation of the radial cloner to a slow timeline.
To finish my visual, I'll add the trails effect to create a sort of pseudo 3D look to it. And there you have it, a custom visual made in Resolume using the Radio Cloner.